All right, real quick too, before we get into pipe, I've dropped all these heads in now. And before we get into pipe, we have to deal with the drip zones. One of the beauties here is we can do this a couple different ways. We can come over to the drip outlet tool and create a zone area. And I can start just tracing around these areas and away we go. There's a few clicks. We can do that sort of an issue. Um, let me just kind of close this off. We can kind of see how, what happens. We get our drip zone. However, one of the other nice little tricks here is we can take our mulch area that I have already predefined in this plan. I can duplicate it. I've already done this. Um, but then we can take this location in this zone. So I'm going to command C option, command V, drop in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and create objects from shapes. And I'm going to go to irrigation drip outlet. And I automatically get what I need. And with this, then I can come in and again, I can go through, I can modify what we need. I think my row spacing, I want to do 18 inches and let's go ahead. Let's get from catalog. Let's go to a Netafim tube and let's go ahead and let's use a CV 1810, I believe 18 inch. Um, that'll do the trick. 0.6 at 18 inches, a uh, thousand foot roll. Doesn't really matter there. And we can hit okay. And now that's what our data is. We're ready to go. So I'll go ahead, I'll step through all these different zones and I'll get that taken care of and uh, we can go from there.